what is up guys demo the warrior here uh, so I wanted to touch on this again I tried to stream and do it last night but my stream was fucking up and then it crashed and then it wouldn't let me stream again so I wanted to redo this because I didn't get to say what I wanted to say so um, so this is a thank you to Matthew George I tried to say this last night but started acting I shitty wish I was but anyway video games or so you might be wondering why am I saying thank you to Matthew George some people said oh well I thought you hate Matthew George I thought you, you and Matthew George have problems so I guess let me explain the situation with Matthew before I go into thanking him so Matthew from what I can remember the first time I ever seen anything of him was in some of my streams on 2k18 like the shittiest Royal Rumbles whatever year that was either like the end of 2017 or sometime during 2018 uh, Matthew was frequenting my streams and I, I seen him every now and again and then I didn't see him for a while but that was the first time I ever seen Matthew George and then I saw him once in a stream I think I clicked on his channel I think or no 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 someone sent me I don't remember who it was but someone sent me a video that Matthew had done that was like a shout out to me so I watched it and then I knew of Matthew's channel from there and Matthew kept giving me shout outs so I gave him a shout out and it was just like that for a little bit when I was doing my whole community creations thing Matthew was also doing a community creations thing I guess in inspired by what I did I guess I'm not 100% sure but but uh, yeah Matthew gave me a whole bunch of shout outs and I thought everything was fine and then like Matthew would do here, all these rants, which were sure. funny as hell. I missed the rants so much. They were so funny. Like, legit, Matthew, every time you did, like, an hour-long rant, I would just listen to that shit at work. And I would be, like, busting out laughing in front of customers. I couldn't help it. But, like, it was just so damn funny and, like, just had this, like, I don't give a fuck type attitude. Which is super fucking funny. But, um... Yeah. So... Basically, I, think I, might be getting a cold. I don't know exactly kind of where it came from, but so what happened was, from what I remember, I thought everything was fine with Matthew. I made it, I'll be honest, I made a couple jokes about Matthew here or there because mainly I watched his rants. And sometimes he would say really funny things, or he would so, say things in a really funny way, so I would joke hmm. about it and say it like he did. And like, he used to shout people out a lot, so he would be like, you know, I want to give a shout-out to Zargon7, so sometimes I would just joke around and be like, guys, I want to give a shout-out to Zargon7, like, I used to do that. Like, so I, I would make some jokes about Matthew sometimes, but it was never, like, anything to where I had a problem with Matthew, or, like, nothing serious like that. Um, I guess I'll just and Matthew never really while. said much about me. I do feel kind of bad about that, but but I don't know like where this came from. All of a sudden, like I started being told that like Matthew had a problem with me, and like like all this stuff was happening. Like I was getting messages saying, "Oh, Matthew said stuff about you. Oh, Matthew's talking shit about you," and. Then I guess Ma uh, Matthew was Shouldn't getting the I same thing. Like people were messaging something. him saying I said shit about Matthew. It was crazy, and like I was so confused because I'm like, I don't know where this is coming from because at that time, me and other than like shouting each other out, me and Matthew had never talked personally. Like never DM, never like in a PS4 chat, nothing like that absolutely nothing like that so we, we had never Man, like officially like met here? I guess so I was confused where all this beef was coming from I guess it started from a bunch of trolls from what Matthew tells me so but so that's where that whole beef thing came from and there was people involved with it I'm not gonna 
sell anybody out or say anybody's names or anything. Cause I, I frankly don't give a fuck about drama or any of that shit. I'll just say this, there's some people that were trying to start drama just to start drama and being stupid and just trying to cause problems and I just, I mainly tried to ignore all of it but then it started getting to a point where I was getting like a lot of messages saying, oh, you know, Ma Matthew said this about you, Matthew said that about you and it was like, just blatantly like nice trying to start to drama stand around. and I just, that one stream, I just got sick and tired of it, so I wanted to set the record straight, and I'm glad that everything has gotten straightened out. I've talked to Matthew multiple times, we've discussed some things, got things figured out about it, um, but yeah, so, the way, like, after that, I guess the, I guess the beef quote unquote is kind of what brought us together I guess uh, like I've for a little while now I've known of Matthew I've known of his whole crew on his channel I know Matthew's like dealt with trolls and had problems with some other people I've I've known of all that but like I said I never talked to Matthew personally so then this whole thing happened and uh, I should do something I really should like me and Matthew were both confused about it so, Matthew was streaming one day, and I was at work, so I just decided, like, it was dead at my work, and I was kind of bored. So I just decided, you know what, I'm going to pop up in this guy's stream. You know, I just want to, you know, talk to him, because I didn't know what his Instagram was, so I couldn't hit him up on there. But, so, I went on his stream, and I was talking to him about it. I was like, you know, Come I just want to see, like, you know, what his do. side of the story is, and, like, see what's going on, because I'm still confused, and then... We conversated back and forth in the stream, and then uh, he gave me his IG, and then we talked on there for a little bit, and uh, that's, uh, talking on IG is where the idea for, well, actually the stream was the idea of, like, since we both hate 2K, we wanted to do a rant on 2K together, so that's where that came from, and then wow. IG is where this we is figured out all the details, like, each other's like PS4 info and all that so then we end up actually talking for the first time uh, he sent he adds me on PS4 and then he sends me a party invite and then our first ever I guess I, I guess audio con I get the first time we ever talked like heard each other's voices Maybe talking to each other around here not doing anything was in that PS4 chat and we were talking for a little bit and we talked about everything that was going on and and then uh, we decided to play some GTA San Andreas which was a lot of fun I still got to get the other two videos out cuz I just haven't edited them yet but uh, yeah it was a lot of fun I had so much fun playing San Andreas I had never played San Andreas multiplayer with anyone before so it the was kind of cool days of your life? and like, Whatever. Matthew was like super nice and like it just felt like we kind of meshed well together it was a little it was a little awkward at first because you know we didn't really know each other but it ended up like being a lot better uh, and then like Matthew was the one that like after we got done playing Matthew like wanted to keep playing with me on different games which surprised me because really I figured you know I think maybe like we played San Andreas night. and like did was that it? rant on 2k you know that was our collab I figured out like my mindset was like oh well maybe that's it I guess you know but Matthew wanted to keep playing like other games and he was making suggestions of other games and I was like wow this guy actually wants to keep playing with me and it kind of like caught me by surprise and I was like I was like all right well let's do it then like I'm down to play games online and whatever and I hadn't played online with anybody in a long ass time so, so I was like you know what right now if we're playing online together let's fucking just do it and have some fucking fun so next thing that comes up is Saints Row the third awesome fucking game by the way uh, we played that for a few hours which was a lot of fun, fucking terrorizing the city and putting in all these wacky ass cheats. And it was just an overall fun time and it really brought enjoyment during my entire day. 
and Everyone is so did a, lame we did a couple school. videos on that. It was a lot of fun. And then the the funnest part at that time came about when we started playing Far Cry 5. That was a lot of fun. I love Far Cry 5. I, I love that game so much, and we started playing it. I hadn't played Far Cry 5 in like a little over two years. Like it had been so long, and we started playing, and like all all this crazy shit started happening with the cult, and just like car accidents, running people over, like just crazy shit, explosions, like all this wacky shit was happening, and it was just so fun, and it was so crazy, and we did a. Uh, two streams on that it was super fun and I had so much fun uh, and then the last thing we did which was the Watch Dogs 2 stream and Watch Dogs is so much fucking fun I love that game I didn't like the first one but Watch Dogs 2 is so damn good it's so fucking fun and that was one of them that was the most fun I've had on a stream in a while like, just genuine fun, genuine just talking to somebody, having a good time, cracking jokes, just enjoying our time. It was, it was a lot of fun, and I really appreciate Matthew for that. Um, so now we can get to the thank you part, which basically is I never expected to play with Matthew. I never thought we were going to ever talk. I never thought any of that. I thought, you know, he knew of me and I knew of him and that was about it. I never thought that we would in a sense become friends, I guess. Um like I just thought we'd always be like acquaintances and I never really thought I was going to collab with anyone, but I'm glad that I did because it was a lot of fun. And, you know, through all the controversy that's happened and the whole drama and everything, like, people, even, even like, the last couple times we've streamed on Far Cry and shit, people have tried to start more drama and people have tried to start shit between this person and that person. Like I said, I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to put people out there like that. I just ignored it and so did Matthew. And one thing I need people to understand is especially the people trolling and leaving all the dislikes and shit and all that like I, I don't give a fuck about that I was playing a game with someone that I was having fun playing a game with I don't give a shit about drama or all any of that shit as long as I'm fucking having fun I don't give a rat's ass what else is going on and that, that's what the stream was it was no drama no no, no beef no nothing it was just all just two friends having fun that's what it felt like to me and that's what it was and some people want to start drama and I don't really care for that some people are drama queens some people love drama some people don't like Matthew and want to start stuff some people don't like me and want to start stuff but with those kind of things you really gotta just ignore it because the more you play into it, the worse it's gonna get. And that's something I've realized, especially watching other people in drama, is that the more you play into the drama and the more you give those kind of people attention, the more that the drama is gonna happen, the worse that it's gonna get. That almost made me laugh. And that that's all they aim for, is to just get attention by trying to cause drama and trying to start shit and like I had several people ask me last night like why the, why the fuck are you thanking Matthew I thought you hated Matthew I thought Matthew was a bad person and like all this Matthew I will admit Matthew has said a lot of fucked up things in his rants and all that and he's talked to me about that he said you know it was a different time I think he said it was 2017 or 2018 he said he was like a different person then and he was like saying a whole bunch of fucked up shit and when he was doing his rantathons, I've said fucked up shit myself. Now, I'm the kind of person that someone could say real fucked up shit to me, and I can find it funny because I have a really dark sense of humor. But I understand that everybody's sense of humor is not like that, and a lot of people get offended super easily. And I wish the fucking world wasn't like that, and I wish people hey, would quit being so fucking sensitive. But that's besides the point. 
Um, but yeah, Matt, like, as far as Matthew goes, I don't view Matthew as, like, a bad hey, person. I view laugh. Matthew as this genuinely nice person that I played games online with and have had a really fun time with and has been the most fun I've had lately. You know, outside of, you know, the streams and stuff I've done with my boy Tony and skit I've done with my boy Brandon and all that. But but outside of that, that's the most fun I've had, like, in a long time. And it's made me realize how much I miss playing online with people. As you all know, me and Brandon Champion and Raven used to play Fortnite all the time. We had a whole series, and me and Brandon used to play Friday the 13th. Me and Tony used to play Far Cry, all this shit. We used to play GTA. And what happened with that was, all my friends just quit playing online. I've always been online. But all my friends just quit playing. Lovely weather we're having. Yeah, right. I haven't played online with my friends in I don't know how long, and I really forgot what it was like to play online with someone and have fun. And just, like, have fun playing a game with someone and crack jokes. And I really want to thank Matthew for that. I've had so much fun streaming with him and playing with him. You know, Matthew, Matthew has, has said a few, I guess, controversial things, but I really don't care. Like, I've just been fucking having fun with the guy. He's fun, he's fun to talk to, he's fun to, his, I used to love watching his channel when he used to upload stuff before he deleted everything, but, um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you to Matthew. I don't know... If this means we won't play online anymore, I'm not. I wasn't sure, 100% sure of the message of the video, because you said you were gonna do videos with girl gamers still, and you said that you said you weren't uploading on your channel anymore. But then you said you're gonna be active until August, so I'm not sure what all that exactly means. But uh, if this, if that was the last time we play together, then. I do want to thank you, man. I had a lot of fun collabing with you and playing hey, with you, and I'm glad we got to do it. And I'm glad we settled this stupid ass drama that shouldn't have even existed in the first place, and all that shit, man. I'm I'm glad we got that solved, and in the end of it all, we came out of it as friends. I can I can gladly say that. Yeah, thank you, man. I saw, like, everybody you were thanking, and you talked about, you know, us playing together and all that, and I, I, just, I was gonna leave a comment, but I figured, like, everything I wanted to say would have been hey, too much for a comment, so I wanted to make a video, and then I tried to make a video, and then, of course, fucking the stream's fucking fucking up and crashing and all that shit, but none of that matters now, because I'm recording this here and now, and I'm about to upload this. But, yeah. I want everybody to know that I, between me and Matthew, there is no issue, there is no beef, there is no drama, there is no problem between us whatsoever, and if me and Matthew do keep playing together, I would like to ask kindly if people could stop trying to start stuff between us. And th this is the only time I'm going to ask this of people. <laughs> that was is to funny. <laughs> people people know who they are. If you could please just stop trying to do that, out of respect for me and respect for Matthew, could you please stop doing that? Hey, because that the way I view it from now on. Is like I like I said in that whole big thing I went on in the stream. I don't want any drama. I don't care for drama, like all that, and I'm not gonna <laughs> sit here and deal with drama. And hey, that all <laughs> so I'm asking nicely to for people to stop trying to cause yeah, drama between me and Matthew and all that, and for people to quit trolling in the streams and all that. 
people, and like I said, people know who they are. And if it continues to happen, then those people are going to be removed from the stream. And that's just how it's going to be. So that, that it is a warning to those people. They know who they are. If it continues to happen, going to leave me no choice but to either time you out from the stream or remove you completely. Because especially with the fuck way, the way the fucking world is today... And the shit that's going on, we don't need fucking drama between anybody. Hey, I've been thinking a lot and about snails recently. I certainly don't want drama with someone that I, I can now consider a friend. And, like, just because of things he's done in the past, or things I've done in the past, or... <laughs> or just I'm because I'm streaming and playing with someone that you don't particularly like, there's no reason to come into my stream and be disrespectful and start running your mouth. Run off somewhere, okay? And like I said, those people know who they are. I'm not going to call anyone out. But that is the only time I'm going to ask it, and I'm asking it nicely, and I I ask people to please respect that. And now you know what will happen if it continues to happen. As far as Matthew goes, I, I'm not sure exactly what his dream is. He was talking about follow, following his dream. He didn't really state what his dream was, but whatever it is, I, I hope you do chase it, man. I hope you are successful in it. Because I, I want nothing but the best for all of my friends. You know, like, uh, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but my friend Brandon, his dream is to become a professional wrestler, and I'm hoping he does it, man. You know, when, when everything's fucking closed right now, which sucks, but, you know, he said when wrestling school, like, when, a, when the wrestling school opens, opens back up, he's going to go to one and start trying to become a professional wrestler. And that's Brandon's dream, and I want all the, I want all the best for Brandon because he's a good friend of mine. And I want him to be successful, and I want him to chase his dream. And I, I want that more than anything in the world. And with, you know, my friend Tony with all his, you know, art and comics and all that stuff that he draws. This man is fucking, he's so fucking talented in what he does. And I, I want him to, whatever he ends up doing with it, I want him to take, to do it. And I want him to do it as good as I know he can. Maybe I should go beat up some As for me, my dream is this YouTube thing. The way YouTube is, I don't know if this dream can fully become a reality. That's one reason I started streaming on Twitch, just to have that as sort of like a plan B, because I noticed a lot of people that have trouble on YouTube do go to Twitch. That's not the 100% reason why I made Twitch, but I wanted to have it just as a backup in case anything would happen with this channel. I wanted to try to make my Twitch channel somewhat popular enough that if something did happen with my youtube channel i could just exclusively go to twitch or something like that it's just i've been trying to think of more mediums to put my content out there i've been trying to think of new ways to put my content out there new things i want to do i do want to like eventually get myself a whole like good setup i want to get a gaming pc so i can play it tons of other shit and do mods to games and all that type of shit and i want to get like a full like mic and like have my face in like every video and like have a cool background and cool lighting I, like, I want all that and I do want to get to that one day and th th those, are, those are my goals and I hope to achieve them whenever I'm able to achieve them and I'm hoping this channel keeps growing we hit uh, 1300 subscribers which amazes me that my subscribers are still going up and I'm I'm glad that like this year alone I've had such a great interaction with my audience and everything with the whole 2k universe streams and all that I'm, I'm so thankful for that because like before that my channel was just kind of oh, upload here upload there it was just you know just uploading whatever and then I decided to play 2k 15 and then that kicked off this whole thing where my audience like, core audience. My well, my core audience at heart, the people who always watch my streams, I get this audience that always tunes into my stream for every part of universe that I do. And, like, my audience gets so invested in it, and I love it. And I'm going to try to have 2K18 ready as soon as I can. 
I'm gonna try to start making people on there today actually right after this video I'm gonna start making people and start getting things ready um, I actually did start working on it yesterday there's a bunch of people that were corrupted due to logos and I had to fix them so they're all fixed now so now I can start making people so that's what I'm gonna be doing but like like I said with the whole dreams thing man I hope every one of my friends is able to chase their dreams I know sometimes stuff doesn't always work out but I want nothing but the best for all my friends and I want them all to succeed in their dreams I want Brandon to become a pro wrestler because he's so damn good at wrestling and I know Brandon can do it and Tony with the art stuff I know damn well he could do it so fucking well and Matthew with whatever his dream is like I don't know because he didn't really say but I think he said something about Hollywood once or something I don't know I can't remember but I hope you are successful in it Matthew you said you're gonna try to move on to start chasing your dreams you know he did say he's 25 and he wants to like try to get his stuff going while he's still this young and I understand that and I respect it so but um like as far as us still playing together I don't know what's going on with that if because I'm confused by what Matthew meant by like being active and then not being active so I don't know if the Watch Dogs 2 is the last time we're playing together or because he mentioned something about playing this zombie game which I haven't got yet but I do plan on getting it uh, so I don't know I, I, I would say what we probably will still play together that's up to Matthew I'm always willing to play online uh, that goes for any of my subscribers really if you ever want to play online with me just hit me up and we can make it happen like I like I said I'm open to doing collabs with anyone I've said this before and like any of my subscribers that would want to do collabs like I did a collab with DJ Curtis playing Halo which was fun uh, you know like anyone who'd want to collab with me I'm more than open to it and like anyone with a smaller channel that would want to collab with me I'm open to it because you know pe people view me which this is shocking to me people view me as like a big channel which I find weird because I'm only at 1,300 subscribers which compared to a lot of people on this website is like an ant or a gnat you know in size but people have messaged me you know saying like oh I can't like I've messaged people back that have messaged me and they're like oh my god I can't believe you're actually talking to me like I didn't think I would actually ever hear from you like like I'm some kind of like YouTube celebrity or something and I'm like my channel is like not big enough that I didn't think people would even like act like that where they think I'm like this big <laughs> that celebrity that they're sh shocked is talking to them and it was such a weird experience for me to think about that and you know I since I do have I guess I, I kind of <laughs> sort of have a little platform not anything big or anything like that but I would love to help out people with smaller channels like like I said I've collab with DJ Curtis like I, w I would love to collab with other people <laughs> and that's why I collab with Matthew George cuz like you know I've, I've always kind of wanted to collab with him and talk about 2k and then it happened so you know like I said I'm open to collabing with anyone cuz it's just fun playing g games online with people and I would love nothing more than to help my a subscribers beam, out. You know, you, and even if they don't gain anything from it, like gain any subscribers or viewership or traction, like, you know, like, I at least want, I at least want to give them a fun, uh, well, I want to give them, like, a fun, a fun time during the day. I want them to have some, at least some fun if they don't gain anything else from it if that makes sense but yeah I, I do want to thank Matthew George if this is the last time we play together or like the last time he ever does upload I do want to say thank you man it's been a lot of fun playing with you and I'm glad that I can call you a friend now because I never thought I would be able to call you a friend two years ago Nah, ne never crossed my mind, but now it's 
it's crazy how things work out and yeah it I don't know what else to say man but uh, yeah I, thank you so much man like really from the bottom of my heart man thank you um, so yeah that, uh, that's about all I got to say but um if I do collab with Matthew again it'll probably be on that zombie game when I get it uh, if not then it was a lot of fun playing with Matthew while while I got to but uh yeah thank you for watching everyone I'll see you all next time and thank you Matthew George and I hope that now that everybody has seen this everything is sorted out and people now understand the whole me and Matthew George thing and people understand like what the whole situation and hopefully people get it now but yeah thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you all next time peace